This live presentation was produced in Ashland, Oregon by the Rogue Valley Metaphysical Library and Event Center. RVML relies on the support of our volunteers, members, and donors to organize and present these programs. For more information about this presentation or to borrow, download, or purchase other recordings from our catalog, please visit our website at rvml.org. Good evening. Namaste. I have brought <coughs> for you greetings from the greatest source of energy on this planet. God has created many things. Of them, the greatest is the sun. Our planet, Earth, is an accidental fallout from the sun. So it is connected with the sun. And so scientifically we know that life on this planet is not possible without the energy from the sun. This is a scientific fact we all know. Our ancestors, forefathers, thousands of years back, were more wiser than us. They loved the sun. Sun was friend to them. They had practices by which they harness energy directly from the sun. And so they were happy. They had no mental problems, no physical problems, no spiritual ignorances. They are all highly enlightened and everyone went into the heaven. But earth rotates. And so changes also come. The great poet Shakespeare says, changes do come in the world. We cannot prevent. And even sometimes a good order goes away, is wiped out, and a bad order takes place. And so in that change, slowly humanity distanted from the sun. Physical distance remains the same, but emotional and mental. See what we are today. Sun is our enemy. We consider sun as our enemy. We curse the sun. We are not friendly to sun at all. Even some sunlight falls on us accidentally because of our movements. We are compelled to move about. Something falls on us, even that we curse. And so what is the net result? Not the benefit, but the deficit, the suffering that we are having. The nature's greatest gift that we are enjoying on the top of our body, the brain, we are hardly able to use, say, two or three percent. Nature has gifted us with enormous potentialities. We are all destined to be God. We have all divinity inside us. We are all full of powers. But unfortunately, our brain remains dormant because no sunlight is reaching the brain. Brain is nothing. It's a supercomputer. We are still trying to find out what brain is. We are nowhere in studying the brain. Still what we know, still today, brain is a supercomputer. Man-made computer is nothing compared to that. So I have named this brain being a future computer as brain uter. Our journey now starts from computer to brain uter. The day is not far off when this man-made computer 
will be dusting, it will be in the past memory, and we will use only our brain as a supercomputer. All works will be done through the brain. We are heading for that. Thousands of experts are doing research on that. Now that is the hardware that we are having brain. We often talk of that man is endowed with infinite powers. We are all built in for infinite performances. We can do anything. First mind has to decide and then we have to work. So these powers that nature has given us, infinite power is the software of this brain uter. Now we have a mind where we think. We give suggestions, yes, no. Arrive at some decisions. Give instructions through the brain. That does the combined work of the keyboard and the mouse. So what we lack, is the power supply, electricity. If brain gets electricity, power supply, then we can do wonders. Now sunlight has to reach the brain for that. Now it can reach only through our eye. Eye is also the extended part of the human brain. These are all medical facts. Eye is the most powerful part of our body. We understand emotions of other people only because of the eye. We receive power and give powers to others also through the eye. Our soul, S-O-U-L, at the time of birth, enters through the eye and sits in the third eye called the pineal gland, which is exactly in the center of the brain a third eye. Just before death, it lives through the eye. So eye is most powerful part of the body, yet very delicate part of the body. Eye is very delicate part of the body. So when we make use of eye to receive sunlight so that it goes to the brain, we must be careful, we must be concerned, we must be cautious to see that no harm takes place to our eye. Nowadays we are all scared. The modern education has distanted us from the sun. Always we are, we hear, if you look at the sun, you will go blind. If you are in the sunlight, you will get the cancer. This is a repeated story. But now it is fast changing because results are coming. Actually, the health of the eye is improving by looking at the morning or evening sun, sunrise and sunset. This was not analyzed. How does the sunlight changes from sunrise to sunset? What are its beneficial effects at morning and evening? The dangerous effects in the noon. We only knew about the dangerous effects at midday. And so that ultraviolet of the noon was informed to us always. Noon sun is definitely harmful. But what about one hour from sunrise, which is known as the first hour of the sun? What about last hour of the sun? One hour before sunset. Now we know through scientific data that First hour and last hour of the sun has no ultraviolet at all. It is zero anywhere on earth, any part of the year. Rarely it happens to be two UV index in summer. Even up to two ultraviolet index, if I receive the sunlight, then it goes to the body through the brain and vitamin A develops in our body. So far, we knew about D, sunlight falling on the skin. But when I looks at the sun, the powerful photons of energy from the sun are received by the eye, then they go to the brain, then to the body, then vitamin A is manufactured, and when vitamin A is in abundance, the health of the eye improves. This is what our eye wants. So actually, vision improves. 
diseases like cataract, nearsightedness, farsightedness, leukemia, migraine, everything disappears. Now this is happening. So we have books now written by experts. Better eyesight without glasses, reading without glasses, throw away glasses. And so far there is no proof that anyone went blind by looking at the morning or evening sun. We all go and see, watch for enjoyment, sunrise and sunset for minutes together. Has anybody gone blind? Yes, looking at the eclipse can make you blind. And that happened to that Galileo. And only that is being repeated. Galileo went blind, so you will also go blind. There is no other example so far after Galileo. Even he regained his vision, but that is not mentioned at all. And interesting happenings are kept suppressed, but truth can never be suppressed. It comes out. So an interesting record was with the Pentagon. American prisoners of war in Korean War were punished. Punishment was gaze the sun from morning till evening, including the midday sun. The Korean government thought they will all go blind. And so American forces will get demoralized. But something contrary happened. After some time, everyone thanked Korean government. Those who had glasses and spectacles gifted that to Korean government, saying our vision is 2020 perfect. Thank you very much. Now this record is on the website of many people. I got email from a New York lady last week. Her dad went for pilot's test. Vision was bad. So could not get through. Then he started sun gazing, went again, and he, his vision was found 2020, and he got pilot's license. So things are happening. And after all, sunrise or sunset are not at all harmful. First hour and last hour, and this is what our ancestors did in the olden days. Now we call them sun worshippers because we have missed the understanding what they did with the sun. Now, when you start sun gazing, there are no restrictions at all. This is the only practice which has no religion, no ritual, no restrictions. Continue the same lifestyle. Don't change your daily routine at all. There is no suggestion that you have to give up food. There is no suggestion that you have to give up medicines. There is no suggestion that you have to give up your exercises or any other thing. Continue everything. Just add this super scientific exercise of sun gazing. It can be done according to your choice also, either morning or evening. You can even switch over according to your convenience. Twice a day also is not necessary. Only once, either morning or evening. First day, when you are looking at the sun during these safe periods, the maximum that you look is 10 seconds only. Now what is 10 seconds? Nothing. Why should one be scared? Your eye can blink and flicker. Ten is the maximum. You can have lesser seconds also as you feel comfortable. That's all your first day exercise. When you are looking at the sun as far as possible, stand straight as I am standing. Keep your spinal cord straight. Also, if possible, stand barefoot on dirt for better results. But in winter, you may not be able to go out. Even you can gaze through your glass window from your house. In such cases, the benefits will be little less, but no harm. You cannot put yourself in discomfort and do sun gazing. So comfort of your body also matters. You can sit and also do sun gazing. The whole philosophy is you have to look at the sun. Then only photons of energy are received by the eye 
and they go to the brain and they do the wonder. Now next day you look sun for 20 seconds. That is the maximum. That's all. Every day go on increasing in installments of 10, 10 seconds. That is the maximum. Build up the time in 10, 10 seconds. Some days there will be cloudy weather. Your compulsion in life may prevent you. Forget about that. No harm. Whenever you miss some days, your results are little prolonged. That's all. If you get sunlight every day, you get results earlier. If you don't get, you get results later. Even in a country like Russia, people are coming out successful in sun gazing, in getting the results. So by three months, you'll be at 15 minutes if you have started with 10 seconds, 90 days. The first will be the benefit to your eye, health improves. You can get your eyes checked, tested, and it is a must because your prescription will change, and so you have to change your glasses accordingly. Otherwise, the improvement will be lost. Don't continue to use old glasses. But only one thing request here. Don't tell your eye expert that you are gazing at the sun. Get the results yourself, compare it, because still most of them are not outside the box. Still they are following the old thing, though many have written the books in favor of sun gazing. Because otherwise a prejudiced, prejudiced mind will give a prejudiced report, even if there is nothing. Now here there are many sun gazers who have reached 20 minutes, 25 minutes, nothing has happened to the right, no harm. So don't get scared. And your eye will get adapted. By three months, you will be at 15 minutes. Slowly, you are building up. Human body can do anything if first mind decides. If mind accepts, body adapts. We often hear someone eating stones, eating glass pieces, chewing razor blades like a cake, eating bricks like a bread swallowing live snakes. And nowadays we hear about a popular game which is heading for Olympics entry, eating cockroaches in abundance. And they get a lot of prize monies are offered for that. Now the question is, if a human body can do all those things, if things get digested, there is no harm inside. Even a blade that is chewed doesn't hurt the teeth, the tongue, the throat, intestines. What is the answer for the science? There is no answer. The only answer is if mind accepts, body adapts. If your mind decides you want to do a certain thing, then you train that part of the body. You get that part trained. So here, compared to all those things, training your eyes is such an easy process. Just your mind decides you want to gaze the sun. You know the safe period. Slowly you are building up the time. And our eyes are definitely trained to even worse things. We are voracious TV and computer gazers. Hours and hours we are before that. The light that we get from these electrical gadgets is much worse than what we are afraid of the sun. So by three months, you are at 15 minutes. First, the health of the eye you get. And then another wonder takes place. The brain gets the energy by third month, more or less. So it activates. Some of the software that is coded inside you gets operated. Some powers inside you are invoked. And first you get is the perfect balance of mind. The wavering mind, disturbed mind, turbulent mind becomes balanced. And this is what we want in life. Because our mind is not balanced, we go wrong in all our decisions. And we suffer, we falter. 
your mind becomes balanced. Then you become positive in thinking. Your negative thoughts get converted into positive. That also we require. Fear in life goes away. At present, we have a fear. Every step we walk, we have a fear. What is going to happen? What will happen next moment? Fear is a shadow to us. Even at night, even in darkness, fear is a shadow. We can see that fear is a shadow. But brain gets energized by the sun. And you are free from all fears. Even fear of death also goes away. You are prepared for that. What is to happen, let it happen. You are not disturbed. We have a willpower coded inside us right from birth, but it is silent. That is invoked, so you develop willpower. Full, you are full of self-confidence. Peace is within you. That comes to the surface. When you are enjoying peace, when you are peaceful, you are not disturbing others, so you are a contribution to the world peace. At least one person is not disturbing others. You become mentally healthy. And when you are mentally healthy, some of the psychosomatic disorders, which are in lighter mood in you, like diabetes, blood pressure, cholesterol, asthma, allergy, they all go away because body chemistry is balanced. Usually we get these diseases because of tension, stress, anxiety, excitement, our body chemistry changes, and we are easily we succumb to these diseases. So you are free from psychosomatic disorders if they are in lighter mood in you. And nowadays, mental health experts agree that in our modern lifestyles, we are not only avoiding sunlight, but even daylight. See our houses, our dwelling places. We never allow even daylight to enter. There are very few houses or offices or factories or educational institutions or prayer houses which allow even daylight and sunlight to enter through the windows. Mostly we have beautiful curtains inside. So during daytime, we deprive ourselves of this positive source of sun energy. And also during daytime, we put on artificial electrical lights and store negative energy inside us. And also, we suffer when the bill of energy comes after a month or two. Then we realize our mistake. But this vicious circle goes on. We never change. This is a positive medicine, allowing sunlight and daylight inside your houses during daytime. You will have more concentration in your work. Your children will be having more concentration in their studies. Their teeth will be improving. Their bones will be improving. They will have better health. Your atmosphere inside your house will be positive. Today we have all negative atmosphere. Then we keep wind chains before our house to remove the negative energy. Then we have emblem of the sun, but that doesn't serve purpose. Best thing is allow daylight and sunlight to enter. Let glass windows be there to prevent cold weather. This will definitely change your health for the best, better. And since we all run short of sun energy in winter, what happens when sunlight is not there for months and days? Then we see larger population always looks sad. They're always dull mentally in winter. That is known as seasonal affective disorders or winter blues. Then artificial lights are focused on the eye to energize the brain. But in that process also, eye gets damaged. Some tablets are given like Prozac, which puts up your weight one pound every month. You go like a balloon. And you know, if balloon is pumped more, what happens? This happens to many people. The psychiatrist drugs now, mental health experts suggest the best thing is 
immediately move to a sunny climate if you are suffering very badly. Stay there for a month or two and you will get cured. And in future, such people must accept sunlight whenever it is safely available in their area. It will get stored in their body, will be carried forward for the next winter and you will not have mental disorders. So sunlight has now become medicine, first for the health of the eye, then for the health of the mind. You'll be free from mental disorders, and this is what the present day world wants. For a real world peace, we must be all free from mental disorders. Then only we can achieve world peace. World peace does not mean that nations do not fight with each other. That is a limited peace. Real world peace is when we all human beings are free from tension, stress, anxiety, excitement. We don't harm others. We love others. There is a smile on the face of each and every individual. And that is the real green planet. Smile on the face of every human being. And sun gazing brings that good order. So mind, health of the mind you get first after the eye. And that is what I am insisting. The WHO, World Health Organization, speaks of body, mind, and spirit as the total health. But I am altering these words. I am putting mind, body, and spirit. According to me, very little mind is in the body, but the whole body is in the mind. It is mind over matter. Body will follow the mind. Mind will never follow the body. Mind can drag the body. Body can never drag the mind. This is what happens when diseases come. Disease does not harm you, but the fear of the disease harms you more. You think so many things even before disease starts attacking you. So here fear goes. Mind is full of energy. So health of the mind matters first. If you treat mind, if mind is healthier, your body is bound to remain healthier. And those who are interested only in mental health, then you can quit sun gazing by three months. But to maintain what you have gained from the sun for your entire life, that you have no mental disorders in spite of any problem that comes to you in your future life. Just gaze the sun five minutes every day or walk on dirt. Be in contact with Mother Earth. 45 minutes in a day is more than sufficient to keep you happy forever. Problems will be there in life. Life's meaning is problem. Life cannot be without problem. But when problems come, your mind will be so energetic that you will tackle all the problems to your success. That is the benefit that you are getting through sun gazing. Then those who have physical problems and want to cure, say serious diabetes, blood pressure, cholesterol, asthma, allergy, cancer, AIDS, tuberculosis, osteoporosis, rheumatism, arthritis, anything. Sun has a cure. We nowadays hear about the color therapy, how different colors of the sun cures different diseases. There are many methods. Solariums are used where different color lights are taken from the sun and thrown on you. Then colored glass bottles are used. Natural stones are used. And all alternative medicines that are used nowadays, including Reiki, Pranic Healing, Sujok, Feng Shui, then Distant Healing, Absent Healing, Remote Healing, Telephone Healing also now it has come, Spiritual Healing, all these alternative medicines Medium is the sun energy. The healer himself first makes himself, he stores the sun energy. 
Then he passes on that energy to you, and you are healed. You are healed. But sometimes it so happens that if healer is himself suffering, if he has any mental or physical problems, then instead of healing, he may give you his sufferings as bonus. So there is always a danger. Nowadays, a lot of commercialization of this alternative medicine. So here you save that problem because you are the direct recipient of sunlight. You don't require any intermediary between. And when sunlight, you are gazing at the sun, you just give a direction to your brain that this source of energy that is entering your body must go to that part of the body where your pain, suffering, disease, it will go there and cure you. Don't go into this color therapy because it is highly confused nowadays. Thousands of books on color therapy are available by several others. And if one author says red color cures your kidney problem, another will say blue and third will say green color. So if you go through two or three books, you will be highly confused. So my attempt has been to suggest a safe, non-ambiguous method where there is no duality. Anybody can do it very easily. So just look at the sun when you are beyond three months. Give suggestion to your brain. Think positively that this light is going to the parts where your pain, suffering, disease, it goes and acts and cures you. Body heals by itself. Body has auto-healing and auto-repair process. Requires a boost from the energy, sun energy. And this happens here. If you also add safe sunbathing to the safe sun gazing, then by six months you will be liberated from any dreaded disease. Let it be cancer. Safe sunbathing means when ultraviolet index of the sun is between two and five, when you, you are in the sunlight, you don't perspire, you just have the warmness of the sun, that feeling, not heat, but the basking feeling from the sun. That sunlight which warms you without heating you and you sit or sleep half an hour to 45 minutes, insulin builds up and so diabetes goes. Whatever has gone wrong in your body, micro or macro parts which has been degenerated in your body or become lifeless, inactive, they are rejuvenated back, brought back to life. And so diseases like cancer also goes. No part of your body becomes dead till we are alive. They only become temporarily lifeless. And through sunlight, they are rejuvenated back, become full of life. And so now an expert writes a book on cancer. It's UV Advantage. You can download from a website called Mercola.com. There are a lot of testimonials are now coming, how sunlight is curing different diseases. This Michael Holick, author of UV Advantage, writes, safe sunlight cures cancer. Intense sunlight gives you cancer. And UK Cancer Society even goes a step forward. They suggest now that don't avoid also safe sunlight. Whenever safe sunlight is available, at least warm your body for half an hour. If you avoid that, then also you are bound to get diabetes, blood pressure, cancer, AIDS, osteoporosis, and so on. See the beliefs changing. So far, we are advised, remain away from sunlight. Now the suggestion is, avoid intense sunlight, but never avoid safe sunlight. Accept it. That is a powerful medicine. And the Australian research also suggests that because we are avoiding safe sunlight, serotonin, which has to build up during daytime in our body, 
it runs in deficiency. So at night time, when we close our eye and brain gets the darkness, the third eye, the pineal gland, which has to really release melatonin, it will not release melatonin. And so we have unsound sleep, insomnia, most of us. This is the main reason. We know when we travel from one time zone to another, to adjust our sleeping pattern, melatonin is given to us. Here our pineal gland releases melatonin. Only if serotonin is in sufficient quantities during daytime. And for that, this is also a must. Allow ample daylight and sunlight to enter all your dwelling places. If you also drink sun-charged water right from the beginning, the type of water that you are used to drinking, the quantity of water that you are drinking, leave it in a clear glass container, more or less like a jar, a round thing, so that more sunlight enters inside it. Leave it in sunlight from morning till evening. Close it with a lid so that dirt does not fall in it. Preferably a glass lid. If not, any lid is okay, but avoid plastic. No plastic at all. Because now we know the bad effects of plastic. We have started now understanding how plastic is creating problems for us. And just before sunset, take that container inside. In winter, you can live near a glass window inside the house. Even then, it will get charged. Make maximum use of sunlight with available conditions. Drink that water within 24 hours as a natural drink. That is the best energy drink now available on this planet. The best antioxidant, the best preventive medicine can be used also as eye drop, ear drop, nostril drop, can be used as ointment on your skin if you have got any skin problem. And nowadays, based on this sun-charged water, sun-brewed teas are becoming very popular in places where there is ample sunlight. Just before going for official work, office work, they leave a tea bag dipped in a glass of water, tea, leave it in sunlight. When they return, tea is ready for them. Then they add something to it. So three things if you do. Safe sun gazing. Safe sun bathing. Drink sun charged water. By six months you will be liberated from all physical problems. What a great gift from the sun. If your further goal is only body fitness. Then here also you can quit sun gazing. You, you would have reached 30 minutes. The only thing that you have to do afterward is that you don't have any physical problems in your future life. Just gaze the sun 10 minutes every day or walk on dirt, be in direct contact with Mother Earth only 45 minutes in a day. Walk, relax, that's all. You will never have any physical problems even with changes in climates. No virus, no epidemic will enter your body. Your immune system will become so strong. Actually, it is the energy system that we require. If energy system of body becomes strong, then you win all battle against your mental and physical disorders. Now, third phase of this practice, spirit, Spiritualism is your individual choice. If you like it, then only you can proceed. But mind and body, everyone requires that fitness. That is a must. If you want to evolve yourself in higher spiritualism, higher consciousness, be on a road to enlightenment and reach heaven, then sun gazing beyond six months is a must. Also, for those who are highly obese and want to reduce their weight without much effort, 
weight also goes down happily. In all these cases, liberation from food is a must. It is the food because it is having a lot of toxic waste that we have bad thoughts, stands in the way of spiritualism. So liberation from food is a must for higher spiritualism. But when we liberate ourselves from food, then the question comes, how does the body sustain? Now medical answer itself is, body requires energy, energy is a must, food is not necessary. Our body runs only on energy. The traditional food that we are taking is nothing but secondary source of sun energy. If there is no sunlight, nothing will grow on this earth. So what we eat is a secondary source. The original which our ancestors received, we are avoiding. And when we cook all this plant kingdom, then sun energy is lost. Cooked food is highly dangerous. That is now proved by science. And that is why a wiser people are coming out like raw food people. This is the main philosophy of raw foodist people. Raw food society is increasing day by day because they don't cook. So sun energy is not lost. Everything goes inside them. So slowly we are heading towards that. Raw food people are just a step away from direct sunlight. <coughs> when Imperial Medical College London knew about few people living only on sunlight, right from 10 years to 52 years, those of you who would have read autobiography of a yogi, anybody, Yoganans? Oh, many. There you might have read a lady remaining on sunlight for 52 years. A Christian great saint, Teresa Newman in Germany, 12 and a half years. Other saints, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. When they were questioned, the only reply was that our brain is getting energy from the sun and we are sustaining ourselves, but we can't give any explanation because the world is not prepared for that. So at that time, we missed the scientific approach, but this greatest medical institution of the world in those days, they wrote, solar radiation is the original food of humanity. What we eat is a secondary source. Someday somebody will prove how man can live directly on sun energy. So it is the philosophy of medical science itself that man can live on energy. Food is not required. And it happened with me, I was able to prove it. I will come to that later. But how it is happening, that is what I am entering in that aspect. When you extend your sun gazing beyond six months, by 10, 10 seconds, the body cells which are spread over our entire body, they are all neat and pure, clean, no dirt inside, no mental disorder, no physical disorder. And the nature of all our body cells is similar to photovoltaic cells in a solar panel. And every body cell has individual brain, individual consciousness that we have in addition. So imagine how many brains, how many consciousness we are having. What we have at the top is the master brain, master consciousness. So when you extend your sun gazing beyond six months, slowly these cells start on energy from the sun. As the energy levels increase, your hunger proportionately starts disappearing. That is the difference. When we fast, 
Many of us fast for religious purposes, but we know we have a hunger, we suppress hunger, we control hunger. And it's a problem always to control hunger. It rebounces. Anything that we control rebounces. So anything that we want to get eliminated must disappear from us. So hunger has to disappear. And hunger disappears when energy comes inside our body. Hunger is in direct proportion to the energy required by the body. Instead of converting from the traditional food, we are getting slowly more and more from the sun, the original source. And by nine months, when you are at 44, 45 minutes, your hunger disappears. Even you have no desire, no hunger pangs. And when you experience that three, four days, then you have to give up sun gazing forever. Then only for a year. In this case, if you have done nine months of sun gazing, because brain has got full power supply, the maintenance exercise is only for a year. Either gaze the sun 15 minutes or walk on dirt 45 minutes in a day. At the end of one year, your body will become totally sun charged, solarized. You will be like a solar chip. Just like a chip in a solar calculator. Then nothing required. You can even give up walking, sun gazing, everything. Even occasionally you are going out. Something falls on you, even daylight. That will recharge the energy. And whole life you can live like this, living on sunlight. This is called living on sunlight. And that is why this phenomena has created interest among space agencies. Food is a problem for travel in outer space. You can't carry food for months and years. It's very difficult to digest food also. Metabolism malfunctions. Spinal cord gets extended. There are a lot of problems. So they are also in a search for a micro food. The food that can not be carried but can be received from cosmic sources. And the best is the sunlight. So this has already created interest. And since I was examined first by... NASA funded universities in Pennsylvania, Thomas Jefferson and UPenn universities. Now I have filed my proposals, my centers to NASA that we have a key to solve this food problem of outer space. We are just retired scientists of NASA are also discussing with us. They are all excited on this. And also, if you want to be on a road to enlightenment. Because here, even if you become a non-eater, you are hardly reaching 10% of your brain. Still 90% is to be invoked. Then don't give up barefoot walking. This walking always opens more of your brain. Walking has that advantage. Because we have five toes in the foot. The biggest toe represents the third eye, the pineal gland, endocrine gland, center of the brain. The next toe represents the pituitary, which is now the administrator or governor of the brain. The third toe represents the hypothalamus, which is somewhere in the brain on the left side. This hypothalamus gland has points of hunger and satiety. And the research that is going on somewhere in State University of California suggests that if this is sun charged, man can hibernate. You know, turtle, it hibernates, bear hibernates. There are a lot of species who hibernate, eat once in six months or 12 months. Now, turtle eats once in six months, still lives for a thousand years. We eat thrice in a day, so we live even hardly, we don't live for 100 years. So eating less increases the lifespan that even science is heading towards that. 
Fourth endocrine gland is the thalamus from which our emotions originate. Then amygdala, which helps our eye to attract sunlight. So when you walk barefoot in contact with Mother Earth, these glands get activated because Mother Earth is another powerful source of sun energy. Millions and billions of years, sunlight is falling on Earth. Earth has preserved it. And that is why we get benefit of sun energy when we walk on dirt barefoot. We get a lot of benefit. Whenever possible, you do it. It's not necessary that you walk in winter. Winter, instead of that, you can do sun gazing. And winter sun is always safe for the whole day because ultraviolet does not suit up more than two or three. So avoid midday. Then sun gazing can be done anytime in winter. Only in summer you should be very careful. So with your barefoot walking, as you go on increasing, from 45 minutes, 50, 55, one hour, increase the heat of the sun and of the earth, warmness of the earth, walk. The brain will open out more and more. Whatever supernatural powers are coded in you, you will acquire. What you hear about yogis and great people, you will be able to do it. And by chance, if optimum capacity of the brain is reached, 100%, then that is enlightenment. And so there is one association working here, Edgar Cases, at Houston Branch and Virginia Beach. They call it ARE, Association for Research on Enlightenment. And they also find that this sun gazing can lead to enlightenment very easily. Even Edgar Casey has written, that in the distant past, our ancestors lived only on sunlight. And so day is not far off, when again we will switch over to sunlight only. And science is getting interested, because those who, are do, those who do sun gazing, after a few months, if MRI of the brain is taken, you will find that neurons are regenerating. You will find more neurons. So far, our belief was that the cells in the brain, the neurons, die as we age. So our memory weakens. Our intelligence goes down. Our aging process is quicker. In old days, we get Alzheimer, Parkinson. But here, with sun gazing, neurons are seen to regenerate. They become more active even with your advanced age. So your aging process slows down. You remain younger for more years. So you can save a lot on cosmetics. <laughs> that is the benefit. Memory sharpens. IQ increases. You have no Alzheimer, Parkinson, paralysis in the old age. This sun gazing is leading to regeneration of neurons because it's a simple reason. We often see sunrise and sunset and get relaxed. Everyone has experienced that, that sun makes you relaxed. Moment you are relaxed, you are free from tension, and so neurons are regenerating. This is the medical answer. Relaxation of the mind, if you get, then your neurons regenerate. But in this life, we have always problems, tension, so neurons die out. And so we have all the problems. So these are the advantages that sun is giving us nowadays. So don't have, kindly don't have any question marks for this practice. Just start practicing. Be your own testimonial. Don't waste for testimonials. A new practice cannot give you many testimonials. When a new order comes, it has all the problems. The person who said, world is round, he was murdered, harassed. World was considered flat. But after that, we say, oh, world is round, sorry for what we did. We apologize, but that man is no more, gone. 
So whenever new changes come, they have problems, they face challenges, but this is not a serious thing. After all, first day, only 10 seconds you are looking. Now in 10 seconds, sky will never come down. Don't get scared. Next day, increase a bit. Practice for 15 days. At the most, you will be one and a half or two minutes of sun gazing. Your eye can blink and flicker. It's a normal look, a relaxed look. Though it is called sun gazing, it is a very normal look. Just as you are looking at the TV, you are looking at the sun. That's all, no difference. And if you find comfortable with this practice, you advance, otherwise you can drop out. Be happy. Sun also will be happy with you. No harm. And this is also a costless practice. That is why you must give a fair, fair trial. No master required to teach you what you call a guru-free practice. What is there to teach you in sun gazing? Is there anything to be taught? Even a child can do it. Just look at the sun. That's all. No workshop, seminar, nothing that required. It's so easy. So guru-free, cost-free, no adverse effect, all the benefits. In market, if you go, you are told, buy one, get two free, three free. Now somebody is offering five things also free. But here you get everything free, everything free. When you are gazing at the sun, you just, you are thinking about the problems of your life. Sun knows, sun is concerned about you because these thoughts go as signals. So he creates circumstances favorable to you. All your miseries and problems end. So you get everything. And no side effect, all benefits, no license, sanction from government required. You can do it. You can do according to your convenience. Either morning or evening, even regular or irregular. If you are regular, you complete your academic course in time. If you are irregular, you are a bit dull student. You get your degree a little late. So those who are in worst climates, they get, do get results, but little late. We are getting even results from Netherlands. Even in Russia, one sun gazer has come up, he has become a non-eater. Even in Germany, a director of cancer hospital, just imagine a medical expert has become a non-eater by gazing at the sun. A lady in Florida called Wana, somebody in Hawaii, lot of cases are coming out, but my preaching sun gazing is not to make you non-eater. That is not the purpose. But main purpose is you get the total health very easily. That is mind, body, and spirit that every one of us require. Then when we can go to heaven. We are all dreaming of heaven, but we cannot occupy a place in heaven unless this present body is made heaven-like. We are forgetting the present body. We are unnecessarily wasting our time in so many other things without caring for this body, which is a reality. First, let us remain, be in present. See that this body is free from mental illnesses, physical illnesses. And we advance in spiritualism. Spiritualism is so easy. Movement by three months, you are mentally healthy. You are not harming anybody, so you are not paining anybody. So no sin is committed by you. The moment you don't pain anybody in thought, word, and deed, no sin is committed by you. And so your foundation for spiritualism is laid. Everything else builds upon that. The best thing with sun gazing is it's an effortless practice. Everything happens in you. You, you have not to work for that. 
all good things, whatever you inspire, that happens in you. We are coded with divinity and devilism right from birth. Moment sunlight goes, devil qualities go away, divine things that are inside us, they come to the surface. Even addictions go away by three, three and a half months. Addictions are all serious mental disorders, nothing else. Liquor, smoking, drugs, everything goes away. Now such things are happening. This practice is becoming popular all over the world. Make use of available conditions. Do it safely. If not today, tomorrow, you are bound to succeed. There is nothing to lose in that. Only if there is involvement of money, cash payment, then only we have to think. Moment you are in love with the sun, then all planets also will keep quiet. There won't be any adverse effect of planets on you. Those of you who believe in horoscope reading, in bad effect of planets on you, Astrology, your love for the sun will liberate you from that. When sun loves you, sun is the boss. So none of the subordinate planets will do any harm to you. They will just keep quiet. <laughs> See the benefit from all angles. From all angles, sunlight will improve your present life and also life after death. Pineal gland gets enlarged because of sun gazing. That is also seen. Now this pineal, which is in the center of the brain where our soul sits. Now science agrees to that also, that we have a soul. As we age, this pineal goes on shrinking. When it collapses, the soul is forced out. So jumps through the eye and death is pronounced. But here the pineal gets enlarged. As pineal gland gets enlarged, soul is comfortable there. So instead of 100 years, you can live for 200, 300, 400. It can be a way for immortality also. Science is heading towards that. On third eye, to my knowledge, 18,000 people, experts are doing research all over the world. Possibility of telepathy, video conferencing, talking directly just like a phone, flying by themselves, navigation, psychic function, everything is possible through the third eye. So this is the new science that sun gazing has brought in. We have a lot of testimonials. A lot of people are getting cured. Even your bones get, bones grow, spinal cord gets stretched up. In Germany, one young man who lost, who had three fractures in the spinal cord and medical science could not help him. He just started gazing the sun by lying down and also exposing his back to sunlight. And after a few months, he got his entire spinal cord as a new one. These things are happening. Only thing is, give a free trial without having much questions against it. Be your own testimonial. This is what I want to share with you. I am traveling all over the world. I came to know of this practice from some of the Indian texts. Then this Yogananda's autobiography excited me very much. That if people can live for 52 years, sunlight, let me find out. So I made studies from Egyptian culture, Europeans, Native Americans practices, even Brazilian, even Peru. Peru has a lot of sun temples. Mexico has pyramids. Native Americans gaze the sun. Their whole community dances looking at the sun, sun gazing dances of Native Americans as a tremendous science. From that, I designed a practice, experimented on myself. It took 30 years for me to come to a decision. I started reading on the benefits of sun from when I was 25 years of age. When I was 55, 
I coined a practice, enjoy it. And when I got results, I put it before medical science. I am not a unique person that way. Even now there are people who are living on sunlight for many years, 50 years, 60 years, even there are people. I am the first person to come before medical science and get my body investigated. So first, 211 days on water, 95, 96, they examined me. Everything went well. Then a major observation was made on me in 2000, 2001 by an international team of doctors, 21 doctors, chaired by Indian Medical Association president, and 411 days I was examined only on water, water fasting. Everything went well. And then I was invited here. And in 2002, I was investigated by these two universities funded by NASA for 130 days. So they agreed these things are possible. Still, science has to find many answers. But things are happening. When things happen, when a suggestion, idea, or a practice is reproducible, is repeated easily by masses, and gives the same results, then it is a science. Then it, it, is, it is a science. So sun gazing, sun bathing, drinking sun charged water has become a science of this millennium. This is what I want to share with you. I leave it to your beliefs. I thank you for giving me an opportunity to present this new science before you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Any questions for some time? Yes. No, that is an individual thing. When we talk about general practice, we have to suggest only safe things. Some may not harm themselves in the noon sun, but there are chances that you may get your eye hurt, noon sun. So we can't suggest all those things. So we should, when I speak to masses, it is only the safe thing that I can suggest where medical science also does not question what I am suggesting. Yes. How do you know about what happens to your stomach when you have these fasting? Oh, it all remains because our body is 80% water. Nowadays you might have heard about Masaru Emoto, a Japan scientist preaching the benefits of water. So body is 80% water, he says, then why bother for other 20%? Then what you eat also carries more than 50% water. So actually it is the water that is keeping us moving and nothing else. So water is a must since body is 80% water and if you drink enough water, nothing will go wrong in your body movements. Anybody who has questions, I wanted to have you ask him into the microphone since we're, we're um, sorry about that. Thank you for your talk tonight. What about the, um, the sun coming up over the hills, those of us who live in kind of a valley situation? Yeah, those who are surrounded by mountains and are in a valley and you can't see the sun during these safe hours, first hour and last hour, sunrise or sunset, for them, just gaze the reflection of the sun at noon, midday, in a pool of fresh water, say tank, well, anything. Even that will give you some benefit. Of course, you can't compare with the sun, but still you do get benefit, so something is better than nothing. Just gaze the reflection of the sun in a pool of still water, say a tank, well, swimming pool, anything, or a big vessel you might be having in which water is stored and gaze that and do the same practice, you will get the benefit. Yes. Thank you. I um, began last 
September, and I live in the valley. There's been a lot of overcast, and so it's taken me that long to reach 33 minutes. Last September, I had a diagnosis of um, adrenal burnout, and they told me that if I got well at all, it would take five years or so, and I feel terrific today. I feel wonderful, but I didn't know uh, about the that I should change the prescription of my glasses. And I wonder, my eyes are the same as they were. I would like very much to change that. Is it? No, if they are remaining I, same, then don't, if they, uh, your eyesight improves and then prescription goes weak, then definitely you must change. So if I begin changing my prescription now, I can still catch up? Oh, yes, definitely. Why not? Thank you. I have two quick questions. One, I was wondering if teeth can be healed as far as cavities. And also, I thought I heard before that you also don't need water after this process. Is that no. possible? I, I, I need water, I don't say, because personally I believe that you must have water. I take plenty of water. I also do take uh, tea, coffee, buttermilk sometimes. But without water, you can never go on. That is my belief, though we hear a lot of people remaining even without water. But personally, I don't believe water is a must. And teeth also can get healed because, after all, teeth requires calcium. Calcium gets converted from vitamin D. So when your body gets vitamin D from sunlight, your body automatically manufactures calcium also. So with safe sunbathing, your teeth also can get healed. Yes? Yeah. Um, I just began this practice, and I'm up to four minutes. I know it's not much. Um, I live in Eugene, which is north of here, and it, it, there's a lot of cloud cover there in the winter. And it might be that, I mean, by the time the winter comes again, there can be weeks or even months where the sun isn't there. Is it okay to wait that long? You know, yeah, months? Def definitely. Suppose you have completed 10 minutes, for example, and then... For a few days, you are not able to do it, few months even. So when climate becomes perfect and you want to continue, then few days, eight, ten days practice, you reach the last reach period. Say, start with one minute, then go on jumping according to the comfort of your eye. And when you reach that last reach period, say, ten minutes, and if you are comfortable there for a day or two, then start increasing by ten, ten seconds, and everything is okay. So you don't... Get discouraged. See, the best thing is here you never lose anything. Even if you are a, there is interval of few days, few months. Yeah. If there's no sun, you can walk around, right? Is that correct? Even 45 minutes of your walking on dirt gives you some benefits. Okay, and the second one is, I want to make sure I get this straight, is the first hour of sun, from the moment the sun comes up over the horizon to that first hour point, any time in there is okay? Uh, within that time, yes. Okay. Within that time. Quick yes. question, too, if I may, um, just on the walking. You, you speak of walking in dirt. Um, yeah. What about grass? Is no, no. Grass is harmful, actually. It depletes your energy. So when you sun gaze, never stand on grass. It's a proven fact. And grass, especially here, has a lot of chemicals and also inside. So walking barefoot on grass is definitely harmful. The best thing to walk will be if you have got sea beaches, the sand, the warm sea beach, sea sand is the best. Otherwise, then after river banks, the beaches of river where you have got good sand, then the third, the dirt that we have here. Even you can make a track in your house if you have got a big lawn. Just remove 200, 300 feet 
of grass, make a walking track, fill it with good sand, walk to and fro on that. It solves your problem. Many schools have got for children playgrounds which are full of sand, volleyball fields, baseball fields, which are, are used for practicing it. They also are full of sand. So if you make an attempt, you can definitely get a place to walk. Hi. Um, are you saying that if you were to sun gaze every day for six months and then it, because of cloud cover you couldn't gaze for a few months in the winter, you would not lose the benefits that you've... No, you won't lose that much. You won't lose the benefits. Whenever it is there, as long as your faith on the sun remains, you won't lose anything. As far as the safe uh, UV factor, is it for your eyes, is it just two UV, yes, two or three? Yes, maximum two. Zero to two. Just two, two. And then for your body, it's two, two to five. five. Yes. Right? And this you can ascertain nowadays very easily through internet. Mm -hmm. Many weather websites are there. Just put your zip code and the time and you get the ultraviolet index of your area at a given time. Then watches are available. Wrist watches, 30, 35 dollars. And there you will find, suppose you have got watch in your hand. If you are standing here, ultraviolet will be immediately recorded. Then a very cheap thing called UV cards are available, where you keep it in sunlight for 20 seconds. Immediately comes a red strip and stops at a figure, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that will record 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's very easy. And some of the... Uh, newspapers also are giving hour to hour ultraviolet for next five days as part of the weather forecast. So nowadays it is very easy to ascertain uh, the ultraviolet index of the sun. Just back. When you're sun gazing, do you, do you put, uh, when you're sun gazing, do you put, do you hold your watch here so you can check it for 10 seconds or do you count? No, there are timers available. There are timers. timers. Okay. Just adjust, they will just warn you. There will be some music coming out every 10 seconds, 20, whatever you adjust. Yeah. No, blind people won't get, they hardly get 10% of what we get because the light doesn't go and reach the brain. They get some energy with closed eyes, but that's the most unfortunate thing because they don't get the benefits that people with good eyes have got. At least they, they should have something. They should, if they are able to see light, then only they get the benefit. Now, when you say gazing, do you mean stare directly into Yeah, it's you? just a normal look at the sun. Now, you are looking at me. It is gazing. I am looking at you. It is gazing. That's all. When you look at the sun, the photons of energy are caught by the eyes automatically and goes to the brain, then to the body. The, we call it sun gazing. It's a technical word. But actually, it's a normal look at the sun. Just as, you know, nowadays we have big words. A children specialist, child specialist doctor is called pediatric doctor. See, we give big names just for attraction, that's all. So, gazing at water, I mean, as a water, does it have to be a large body of water? Or can the reflection of the sun must come, then it's okay. And it should be fresh water, not salt water. Yeah. Avoid sea water, fresh water is okay. I had a question about the raw foods. If you if you keep it in the fridge, does that affect the uh, the power of the sun that's in it? If you keep if, if a raw vegetable has been in the refrigerator in in the dark and in the cold, does that affect its? See, sun? vegetables are, have already stored sun energy for you by keeping it in the refrigerator. You are actually uh, lessening the energy that they have. So they are already totally, they have harnessed the energy. So keeping vegetables in sunlight will not give more benefit. Uh, squinting through, yeah. through the eyelash, uh, I, I notice creates a different effect. Is, is there something produced differently through that than through the open eye? Eye? Through the eyelash, like squ squinting. 
No, no, no. Just keep a normal look. Don't do any other exercises. It will give a tension to you. When you have got so simple thing, don't go for all other things. Uh, why did you say avoid seawater? Oh, because the reflection from the snow and the sea, salt, because of salt, it is so intense that it harms the eye. Fresh water reflection is not at all harmful. If you wear glasses, do you take them off? Yeah, definitely, because ultimate aim is to throw away the glasses. So when you are sun gazing, do it without glasses. If you have got lenses fixed, then no harm, because they become part of your eye. Benefits will be little less. But if you are removing the lenses every day, then remove and do it. I was wondering if there was a sensation that one would get when they're staring at the sun and they've had like enough, like there's a little maybe a tension, or is there some sensation as you begin to stare into the sun that there's a point where there's a turning point and it's besides the one you'd intuitively feel like, oh, I gotta look away, is there like? No, it's a minor things will differ from person to person depending upon your thinking, fear, faith on sun. It mostly depends on that, but not major differences. Has the sun changed or our, our, the atmosphere, the changes in the atmosphere, has there been a change? No, no, it remains the same. We hear all these stories, but there are there is a cycles which every 10 years they go on changing. Now this ozone layer which was talked so much, what has happened to it now? It's a closed chapter because German scientists are challenging the whole theory. They say actually Earth is cooling down, not warming. So even scientists are also differing among themselves. So don't bother about all those things. Whatever is available, let us make use of it. By simple virtue of the fact that when we look at things outside during the day, we're seeing reflected sunlight at everything that we look at. Wearing sunglasses, wouldn't that diminish? Uh, Definitely, that is what now we learn that. That is why suggestions are coming that only when you are, the sunlight is directly hard hitting your eye when driving and walking 10, 15, 20 minutes. That time only use sunglasses. Rest of the time, avoid sunglasses. And those who are using <coughs> sunglasses <coughs> morning till evening, 90% of them have got insomnia. This is the reason. Yes. Yeah, I'd just like to put in that uh, my, I'm roughly at 30 minutes in the sun gazing. And a very short period of time after I started, I have not worn my sunglasses at all, whereas I used to have to wear, I couldn't go out of the house without them. And I have worn sunglasses for six months or more now. Uh, you have to tell your experience, Sujdeep? Yeah. Oh, no. Through sun gazing, what are your experiences? Actually, I, I really like to hear other people's experiences who have more experience than me. But um, I live near Eugene, and I've been sun gazing for, I'm up to 16 minutes. And I notice a lot of things starting, I didn't notice anything until five minutes. And then I noticed a lot of things, like um, I experience a lot of bliss. <laughs> um, a lot of people keep telling me I look very healthy and peaceful. I'm very peaceful at my job now, which was extremely stressful. It's still stressful, but I don't feel it. And I lost a lot of fear. The other day, me and my girlfriend w jumped out of an airplane, which I used to be scared to do. Um, so at 10,000 feet, we just jumped. But I wasn't scared. She was freaking out on the plane, but I was like, la, 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 la. You know, let's look at the sun. So um, let's see what else. I just lost a lot of fear. I thought anger was going away, but there's still some left. <laughs> But it, um, I don't know. I just feel very happy now. I make friends more easily. I'm very outgoing. I used to be shy. 
And um, yeah, that's about it. See what happens when there is no sunlight and cloudy days are there. We all feel depressed. We all run short of energy. We all pass a remark, what a dull day. And moment sunlight comes, every one of us are running here and there. We are happy, we are full of energy. So this shows the effect of light on a human body. But in reality, we are not making its maximum use. That is where we are going wrong. Though we know, because a fear has been inserted in us that looking at the sun will make you blind and all those things. But now you hear, a lot of people are improving their eyesight. They are not at all getting affected. Fear is going. And this is the fundamental thing for our life. A fearless mind is our requirement. And sun energizes your mind, your brain to such an extent that you will become fearless. Then you enjoy your life. A fearless person enjoys his life. A person with fear is more or less a person just like just living, just for the sake of living. Ten second increments, um, increasing that beyond ten seconds, is there dangers? What's, what's so the, it's not dangerous. Your eye may not be harmed, even if you do one minute, two minute every day. You can reach 44 minutes in a week. Many reach there. But no benefits because the brain, being a supercomputer, its wiring inside is so complex, so complicated, so confused than the main made computer. That should be charged slowly. So brain always says, sun is not a fast food. <laughs> so if you go fast, you won't get the results. There may not be any harm to your eye, but you won't get the results also. So what is there to hurry up? Be slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Haste makes waste. Go slow. After all, life is a big process. After all, this is nine months, 10, 11, 12. In, in dealing with clouds, um, is it a legitimate practice to, you know, if you miss a day, to go 20 seconds when the sun comes out, if you miss a day, or, or... No, 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 no. Whenever you are able to do, only increase by 10 seconds. Don't count all those days. Do you need less sleep now? Oh, definitely, because since body is full of immunity, energetic, you don't have tiredness, so hours of sleep also go down. I don't have jet lag also. I travel all over the world. I am giving nearly 250 lectures in, in a whole year, all over the world. And I never feel tired. I stay at different places. I have no problem to sleep. Otherwise, people, when they change their place, they don't get sleep also. But I am comfortable at every place wherever I go. So your body becomes a perfect, you know, totally controlled with changed circumstances. That is the best part of it, that you never get tired also. And do you still have to go to the bathroom occasionally? Oh, definitely. <laughs> it is there. Because I am taking water, I am taking sometimes tea, coffee. So that is there, yeah. But just not bowel movements? So no. No bowel movements. Pardon? No, it is not like that. Gas passes, you know, when you drink water, hydrogen, oxygen get separated. So it works. There are many parts of your body which you are not using after some age. So as long as water is there in your body, nothing goes wrong. Everything functions. I was fantasizing about what it would be like. I remember you said in a previous lecture that you don't get cold either. Yeah. And I thought, what would it be like if I didn't have to buy groceries, I didn't have to keep a kitchen, and if I didn't have to pay to keep the furnace going, and if I didn't have to have that king-size bed. I mean, life, 
I couldn't quite imagine. You would be then traveling in Mars and other planets. <laughs> you know, one trip requires at least three years. So you will qualify yourself for that. Don't imagine that whatever you see today is the limited thing. That is what metaphysics teaches. Cross your vision. There are many things waiting for us which we do not know. Don't think what you are seeing today is the only thing that is available in this world. You have to cross those boundaries, jump out of that, then only you'll know what big this world is. That is what metaphysics teaches us, you know. You have to go out of that. So don't bother about other things. Just take care of yourself. What benefits you are going to get, don't think of the world. When computers were coming, everybody thought what will happen. But actually it has created more jobs made our work easy, created more jobs. So always we must accept good things coming in. Let us not compare with the present day circumstances that, oh, people will lose this thing, that thing. No, so many new changes will come in this world. Yes. Sunbathing, when your body feels warmness, it's a, just your understanding. If you are comfortable with the warmness of the sun, that warmness will give you all the benefits. Even your arthritis, rheumatism, anything. Even at least expose those parts of the body for half an hour. Even then you will get cured. Uh, ultraviolet index is 2 to 5, not the time. Index of the sun, 2 to 5. So just by common judgment, you can, you go in the sun, sit. If you feel warm and if you are enjoying, that will help you. So are we good with questions? You got a question? Uh, yeah, on, on this uh, sunbathing thing. Um, do you recommend not using suntan lotions and all these? Chemicals? Oh, definitely. Nowadays, they also tell about these lotions, sunscreens, all. Because when you apply, then perspiration from your body does not go out. So that toxic waste remains in your body, and it degenerates. And moreover, the external pressure of sun because of that, they, these chemicals also go deep in, inside your body. And so you get cancer and all those things. It is not that the sun is giving us the cancer, but it's wrong use is giving the cancer. I also heard, um, and maybe you can talk about this, that part of the reason why people get cancer from the sun is because their cells are unhealthy from eating so much cooked food and toxic things in the environment and in their own body, and that people can be in the sun if they have healthy tissue and don't have those problems. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, sunlight, it's, that is why these from vegetables, people are going to uh, this... Uh, organic foods, then live foods like that. The whole thing is sunlight only. Sunlight definitely rejuvenates all parts of your body. Cancer and everything, that's why it gets cured. Okay, anybody got a question? Okay. Uh, relative to sunglasses and salt water, because I do some sailing, and uh, at a, I do some sailing, and it... So that time, if reflection is so heavy, noon and all, then definitely use sunglasses. Okay. The only thing is the habit that people put on, you know, from morning till evening, sometimes they even go to bed with sunglasses. <laughs> that is to be discouraged. Under extraordinary circumstances, you can use it. But don't make it a practice that it is there always. Then it becomes harmful. Yes. 
Do you mind telling how young you are? I am uh, 100 minus 32. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody have any more questions? Pardon? Hats. Oh. Hats. Yeah, if, if it is intense, definitely you protect yourself. Intense, you must protect when the sunlight is intense. Say noon, midday suns, cover your body. That is definite, no doubt about it. But mild sunlight, expose yourself. Yeah, so fine. So then thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. RVML Resource Center is a volunteer-operated federal 501c3 tax-exempt nonprofit organization. RVML is dedicated to providing easy access to a comprehensive collection of information on a variety of metaphysical, spiritual, and personal development subjects. RVML accepts and appreciates all donations. Material and monetary contributions are fully tax deductible. This recording is not copyrighted and permission is granted to broadcast, exhibit, or duplicate all or part of this program for non-commercial educational purposes. This live presentation was organized and presented by the Rogue Valley Metaphysical Library and Event Center. For more information, please visit rvml.org.